losing 4-1 to Brighton, conceding 9 goals in the last 2 away games, however scoring 6 goals in the last 2 home games, and a toxic environment inside the club. It's time for a change, so let's talk about it. First, let's go to 76-year-old manager Roy Hodgson, where he doesn't have many tactics at all, no tactics to win games, not the best decisions, and the game's moved on since he was a good manager. However, 17% of the games that he's managed, Eze and Elise have played together, so of course that's going to have a massive impact. Eze and Elise, when they both play together, they're like prime Barcelona, but without them, we're just like a championship side, so deformed and clueless. In my opinion, sorry Roy, I think you should be sacked. No hard feelings. Legend for the club. After the good run last season, keeping us up, I think Parrish should have chosen a new manager and not kept Roy. Bad decision there from Parrish, but I don't think Steve Parrish has all problems. Like, he's made some bad decisions, but it's not all his fault. In my eyes, Graham Potter would be a great replacement. He works with youth, which Palace have a lot of. We did well in the transfer window to get some extra players. And I think a new manager would just change the toxic atmosphere in the club. Like the banners which have been held up and the booing of the fans. It's all getting toxic and heated, so something needs to happen. Looking at the fixtures as well, if Graham Potter did come in, um, there's some quite nice fixtures there. We've played some hard teams already, but we got some home fixtures, and I think he'd do well. You can't judge Graham Potter from what he did at Chelsea, because um, Todd Bowley just bought a random bunch of players, and the club was in a bad state, and he just had to work with it. But I reckon he'd have a good chance at Palace. 